time. Oh, oh my God. I didn't know it was going to pick right up. Hey, Kendra, wait, let me set you up because I know that I got to set you up. Hold on. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me up, girl. Oh, you yeah. look cute. What's your name, honey? Thank I'm you. My name is Girl memo going on because i've been getting I'm a lot fresh of off work kendra i feel a mess you look beautiful you look great you look like a fresh face what's wrong with you thank you i appreciate it yeah, yeah. listen it's how men that y'all want they want to see y'all with no makeup <laughs> i mean you have extensions but i mean you look natural i think you look good thank let's talk you. Name. my name's malayaka Woo, child. say it again malayaka you could call me Lay. I know you don't be playing with the names. You Girl, could call I'm just, me Lay. Lexi, y'all know how fuck up everybody name. I would mess up Jesus if we didn't say it every single day. <laughs> There's no way I would look at Jesus. If I didn't know Jesus was Jesus, I know I would pronounce that wrong if I saw it on paper. But okay, Layla? Malaya Cook. What's the news? I could call you something else. Lay. Lay. All right. Lay, yes. where you calling us from? Charlotte, North Carolina. We must, I think I have an echo. Do you have me on somewhere else? You're in my bathroom. You want me to take you somewhere else? I could no, take no. somewhere else. No, stay there. It's not, it's not, no, no, stay there. You have your light. Go back. It's not, okay. it's not drastic. I thought okay. like maybe a TV was on, but I can hear myself. But it's okay. Charlotte, North Carolina. How old are you? I am 31. 31? Do you have any kids? I do. I have a 12 year old son. Okay. Have you ever been married? No, I've never been married. Okay. What do you do for a living? So I'm actually an assistant branch manager at True Lion Federal Credit Union. Say again? I'm an assistant branch manager at True Lion Federal Credit Union. Okay, so assistant manager yes. at a credit yes, union? Yes, ma'am. And what's your zodiac sign? I am a Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. All right, so we got Lay. She has a, you can, you can say her name again for the people. Malayaka. Malayaka. She's from yes. Charlotte, North Carolina. Malayaka <laughs> from Charlotte, North Carolina, 31 Sagittarius. My to a 12 year old son, never married, assistant manager at a credit union. What kind mm -hmm. of man are you looking for, girl? So to be honest with you, Kendra, um, I'm looking for someone who's honest. Like if it's not a relationship you want, if you want a friend, then say you want a friend. I was in a really long situationship, about five years, honestly, which brought me down to Charlotte and I got my heart broken down here. So originally I'm from Maryland. So I want to meet someone who's honest and, and, and intentional. Um, like I said, I'm 31. I have a 12 year old son. I want someone who's a good role model, a good figure. I'm not looking for anyone to play the father role. He has a father who's involved, but I do want someone who sets a good example for my son. You know, someone who's emotionally in tune with themselves because I felt like in my past, I, I can honestly say, I know you'll ask me my flaws at some point, but I can honestly say that, um, I'm emotionally dependent when I'm dealing with someone. And I just want someone who can be e not emotional with me, but who understands and accepts the fact that as a female, I do have a softer side. And I just want someone who supports that. Okay, I want to I wanna ask you about something though. You said love moved you to Charlotte, North Carolina? Yes. Was your child's father? <laughs> no, I haven't been with my child's father since he was about three. Okay, so when did you move to Charlotte? I moved to Charlotte in August of 2023. Okay, wait, last year. Yeah. So what happened? Wait a minute, what happened? Um, like I said, apparently one of my flaws is that I'm an emotional being and by emotional, I'm not crazy or anything like that. But when I deal with you, I love really hard, Kendra. I love really, really hard. And when my feelings get hurt, I'll let you know. Like sometimes, yes, I may cry or whatever, but the wait, person wait, that I was But doing... tell me how you relocated. Was you in a relationship? We need yes. to story. So the person that I was dealing with also lived in Maryland. We're both from Maryland. And he relocated to Charlotte. Um, he was in Charlotte before me for about two years. And he, you know, would constantly bring up, why don't you move to Charlotte? Why don't you move to Charlotte? And then I ended up and moving you guys, to Charlotte. And, and he's saying this as your man. Y'all in a relationship. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. okay. And then when I moved down, um, I hate to say this, but this is how I explained it to my girlfriends. It almost seemed like um, when he realized that he was all I had to depend on, 
it kind of got taken advantage of and it just didn't go the way I expected. Well, you just got there August is what, maybe six months ago? Yep, six, seven so months ago. Break up? Um, maybe about two months ago. And it's, did y'all live together when you moved there? No, I had my own place. He had his own place. But you moved mm -hmm. down because of this man. Yeah, and so to be honest with you, Kendra, once I moved down to Charlotte, I quickly realized that he had his own life in Charlotte. Regardless of him asking me to come down or not, like I quickly realized that he had his own life in Charlotte. Ooh, okay, okay. So now you're single. Um, wow. So would you leave or are you, are you going to stay there? To be honest with you, um, I was literally just telling my best friend this, um, maybe within like the next year or so, I'm thinking about relocating to Houston. Um, but as of right now, Charlotte's home for me. Um, I know how to bounce back pretty easily. Like I said, I'm, I'm working. At the end of the day, I still have to be a mom. So my focus has shifted to other things, but Okay, some of the cousins, here, listen. Okay, so of the cousins, they, they miss, they pick up on things that I miss. They're saying okay. that you said it was a situationship, not a relationship. So I call it a situationship now because I feel like maybe I was more involved than what he was. But at the same time, like I said, honestly, he asked me to move down here. We were intimate. We've been dealing with each other for a very, very long okay, time. Well, like but, I said, so you I never had the conversation of you're my man, I'm your girl? Yeah, we've absolutely had that conversation. So we've absolutely had that conversation. Why was you confused whether it was a situation or a relationship? Because when I moved down here to Charlotte, like I said, I quickly realized that he had a totally different life outside of my understanding of what Let we did. Let me ask you this. Not so to I, cut you off. Not no to cut problem. You off, but why didn't you move mm -hmm. in with him? Like, he wanted you to move and get your own apartment? So, <laughs> that was never offered that was never something that was on the table like move down here and we gonna get a place together that was never something that we discussed well, that's i've never that's, lived that's with up. i think that's the <laughs> biggest no right there i mean sincerely like listen i'm all for relocating but if someone's asked you to relocate then we're moving in together right if, if i'm moving my city it should be or stay it should be serious enough that we are moving in together where did you live I lived in Maryland, in so Upper Marlboro, that PG County. Never option for you to move in with him. I'm not sure, Kendra. He, he, it's not like he's living with another woman or anything like that. That wasn't. The why case. was it that your requirement? Like, why, why, if I'm gonna move me and my child from a different state, why didn't you require? Like, are we moving in together? Like, what is this, ladies? Don't be afraid to ask these questions. And and you aren't saying anything that I've never heard before, Kendra. Like I said, I have friends who are very transparent with me and all my friends say the same thing. I will be completely honest and say that I was wrapped up in this situation like head over heels over this person. Um, he's a little bit older than me, so I was completely gone off this man, to say the least. Um, when he moved, it was almost like I felt like I lost my best friend. So when he finally asked me to move down, even though it wasn't me moving in with him, because I was closer to him, it made me feel better, so... So I, I think it sounds like it, and you, you kind of said this a little bit earlier when you said situation shit. This is a situation where you may have been more into him than he was in fear. And I can honestly admit to that. Okay. Kendra, okay, you so, have to make me what, cry. I did not come on this show to cry with you, what you tonight. Cry? And what was it? Where is it? I don't, I don't want to get you to cry. That's not my goal either. I guess mm -hmm. what my goal is, I asked enough questions for us to get to the honest truth. You can mm -hmm. see it for what it is. So I guess my question is, what made you decide that this is over? Like, what happened two months ago that now you know for sure he's not what you want or this is not what you want? What happened? Because I made such a big change. I made such a big sacrifice. I left a really good paying job in Maryland and I relocated me and my son. And from the moment I touched down in Charlotte, things were kind of weird. Like within the first couple of weeks of us talking, I mean, from the within the first couple of weeks of me moving down here, it was almost like we were always at odds. Like we were always at odds and then things would get better and then we'd be at odds again and then things would get better. It was just almost like a seesaw. So it just got to a point where we were just kind of over it. They calling me Dick Dumb. I said I dealt with him for a long time. It wasn't just about the sex. 
It wasn't just about the sex. This man, okay, so let me just speak to the cousins for a second. So this man, um, not only was he my lover or whatever you want to call him, but he was also my friend. I got my class ACDL with him. He put me on to a bunch of businesses. We started a trucking company together. Like we, we did a lot of different things together. So it wasn't just about the set. So I'm sorry that y'all feel that way, but it wasn't just that. Listen, listen, listen I, I, I sit here, I'm 44, you're 31. Um, I sit here sometimes, I say things to you guys because I've been through what you guys have already been through, right? Um, mm -hmm. but listen, I'm going to give you grace. I think you learned a lesson. A lot of people learn. I will just say anybody watching and we could just learn from the situation. If you're going to relocate and you're with a, a man and you're dating, you're relocating for that person. I think it makes common sense to say, okay, uh, we're moving in together, right? Like this is a big, if I'm going to rearrange my life, what are our steps? Am I just moving just to move closer? No, I'm moving because we're going to build this life together and then if you can't get that before you go then i would say don't go mm -mm. don't I move when you have to too i completely Listen. agree with you i completely agree with you and a lot of people have told me go back to maryland and then i mean like that's definitely an option but at the same time i can't just keep packing up my son and leaving like at this point i'm here and i just gotta establish myself here that's okay Okay. Well, okay. So now she's here looking for the right man, the right man. So let's move forward. <laughs> um, again, you gave me a long list of, this is why I asked you about, cause you said you moved. What are your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers, like I said, would be someone who isn't emotionally in tune, like a man who can't express himself. Um, someone who's a liar, a cheater, someone who's a narcissist, someone who takes advantage of someone's vulnerability. Um, uh, someone who doesn't have a good relationship with family. Um, I feel like that's very important for me. I want a husband and I want someone who has that, that, that role model in their life of what a good husband is or what a family should look like so that they know how to create one for themselves. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? <laughs> um, I do have a type. I like a brown skinned man with a beard clean cut, in shape. That's my preference, yes. Okay. Um, what about money? Do you make a certain amount of money? Uh, yeah, I would say at least 60K. I don't think that's okay. asking for too much, at least 60K. Could he have kids already? Yes, that's fine. Who am I to say that they can't have kids? I have a 12 year old, it's okay. Do you want more children? I do, I want at least one more. I really want a daughter really bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more. Now, um, so do you want the guy to be in Charlotte? He doesn't have to be in Charlotte, no. Okay. Someone says she needs to heal first. I don't know if I agree with that, to be honest. I mean, there are some people that come on the show, child, and I do feel like they need to heal, child. But mm -hmm. sometimes, um, you know, this is one of the reasons why men, men, and I don't agree with this, but men don't soak in the house and listen to sad love songs and crying when they're going through a, a breakup. They go on to the next vagina. Now, I'm not saying I agree with that either, but they keep it pushing. I, I, no, I think you should keep it pushing. I think you're an attractive girl. Um, you know, you. you moved out here, you took a chance on love, you know, you learned that it wasn't what you desired. No, I think you're in a, a, a place where you can meet someone. Don't have sex right away. I don't believe anybody should have sex right away whenever they meet with anybody. But I think, no, I don't think she should be sitting in the house, smoking over this man. Like, I really want you to show him, like, okay, we're going to keep it pushing. Like, you, 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 you had a, you had a great woman. You luck, you missed out. Now let me make myself available for the guy that's going to treat me the way that it is. So, no, I actually think you're doing the right thing by trying to meet somebody else. All right, let's humbly, do Kendra, Kendra, I can say, humbly, I can say that I actually have been working on healing me. You know what I mean? Because like I said, one of my flaws is the fact that I'm emotionally reliant and that can be an issue. So maybe that is something within myself that I need to address so that I'm not so reliant on anybody, whether it be a friendship or relationship, whatever, on somebody being there for my emotions. So to an extent, I can agree with the cousins to an extent. But as far as me sitting around and moping, I'm over that. I'm so over that, Kendra.
right, let's do it. Let's do the kids you can. Okay, boy. Okay. I still got all my work clothes, but it should be fine. Let's let's just hope that this is. They stays. said you was about to cry, child. I was? Don't. Yes. Okay. You look good. You're in great shape. Thank you. Let me ask you a question now. When the last time you talked to the guy you moved down to from Charlotte? Um, it's probably been about a month. Okay, listen, you might have a horny night. Don't fall for it. It's funny, Kendra, because if I'm being honest, today I've I had a moment. I had a moment. And I was like, I'm gonna call him. I was like, no, Please. don't call do him. Not don't. Do not do not because look, you you look good. You 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 you're in good shape. You don't move to a whole different state. So I know he got he 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 doing something right. No one It's slim pickings. It's slim pickings in Charlotte, Kendra. I know, it is but, very... but, but here's but here but here's the tone. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. If you <laughs> if if you prove to him that he is still your sexual quench, mm -hmm. right? Then he's mm -hmm. then he's gonna understand that and he's never gonna rise to this occasion because he's gonna know that you have nobody else to have sex with. And he'll just be doing what he does. And then you'll call him when you get to those real vulnerable moments. So I'm encouraged. I'm listen, I'm just saying if, if you want to get off of this train with this man in particular, and you really do want someone you can build a life with, you're gonna have to control that urge. Because but that's Kendra, to be honest with you, I'm not even like a huge sexually driven person. It's not even I, about I don't care. it's the People, company. I don't, I don't care what it is, honey. Let me tell you. If you can't tackle that, you're not going to prove anything different to him, and you're going to be going okay. on this cycle. And okay. that's just, this is just real talk, ladies. I'm telling you what I know for sure. You are mm -hmm. going to have to prove to this man. This is why men, and I don't know him. I don't know him, but if you moved, I'm assuming he's attractive. I don't think you're just moving for somebody that's not attractive. So I'm going to assume right. he's attractive. I'm assuming he could put it down. I don't think you'll pack your bag and your child if you can't put it down. <laughs> So, no, for real. So this is real talk right now, ladies. If you, I don't care if it's six months from now, if you go back six months, because you already proved that you're willing to move. So you already, he already got a little ego, like you picked up your life and you moved for him, right? right. So he got right. you in the city. So, and he also knows that you don't really know a lot of people in the city. So it's, it's in his favor. But you are going to, it's going to take a lot of discipline. And I'm going to say prayer or whatever you need. But figure it out, because if in six months, three months, I don't care, you go back to him and you have sex with him, you're just going to just prove to him. I'm going to be have right back options. in the same spot. You'll be in the cycle, so you won't end. get off the cycle. This is mm -hmm. why, listen, this is why I tell you, I believe in blocking. I believe in no contact. I don't care, no contact. Your mama died, your mama died. Make sure you rest in peace. <laughs> that don't got nothing to do with me, because you got to talk to me. that's because, terrible. But it's not terrible. Well, because let me tell you why it's not terrible. Your life and your future is on the line. Don't you yeah. want to get to your happily ever after? Absolutely. Like you have to, everyone's like, you love so hard. How about this? You said, I love so hard. Love so hard on yourself. Love so hard mm -hmm. on yourself that you love yourself too much to allow somebody to play with you. I'm not, right. I'm, right. Saying, I'm not saying his mother died, you'd be happy. What I'm saying is if you know sending a condolence will get you back in the rapture, then you don't send that condolence. You got to choose you and your child and your future first. And ladies, this is real. Like it be, if you go back to when you left a man and you go back to that one time of, how do we start talking again? It's something, it was probably something small. Like, oh, I saw your mama today. And I just wanted to say hi. And then the next thing you know, you went three years back in this madness, child. And this is why these men don't ever rise to the occasion because they know that they can get these women. So we're going to keep it moving, but I felt in my spirit tough because I'm telling you, the biggest flex that you could ever have is when he tries to come back and you are not available. When you are like, if he tries to come back and like, oh, I'm not, I got a man, I'm not available, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know why you thought this great of a woman I am would just be available that nobody can want me. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I'm not available. I, I wish I wish I could. I'm about to go on vacation with my boyfriend. I, I, I wish I could. But this period you're in right now is very crucial. It is a very crucial. So Kendra, let me ask you this, right? Let me ask you this. Because right now I'm looking at you like my big sis, right? <laughs> so right now, do I do you think I should just enjoy Charlotte, right? I, I probably shouldn't even worry about it. 
I want you to enjoy Charlotte, but without him. I right. want you to enjoy Charlotte, get to know the city, meet people. All I'm saying is, no contact with this man. I'm so sorry. You have to, you have to, you're, you're fighting for your life right now. <laughs> so this is why I'm mm -hmm. telling you, like, this period right now is, this is, this is your, this is like ground zero. <laughs> and it's up to you to decide how you're going to win. I think you're okay. attractive. I think you can look at it as a new city, meet some friends. But I'm just telling you, girlfriend, don't go back to that man. I won't. I won't. I'm going to come back with an update and I'm going to be in love, head over heels with somebody. <laughs> That's what we're praying for. All right, let's keep going. So the last question was that guy. What was the last time he was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Him, so about two months ago. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on in a relationship. Um, I'm emotional. Um, at this point, it would definitely be a trust thing for sure. And then lastly, um, uh, I, I think sometimes I could be a little, um, what's the word? What's the word? I don't want to say, I don't want to say like overbearing, but I like my, one of my love language is, um, quality time. So I do like to spend a lot of time. Like I want to see my man. I want to be around my man. And sometimes people like their space. So. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm honest, um, I'm very transparent. Um, I'm an amazing woman, to say the least. I done packed up my whole damn life, Kendra. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm a loving woman. I come from an amazing woman. My mom is an amazing wife and mother. So I was raised to be that nurturing mother and wife. And I believe that I would give that to my husband or to my man, absolutely. Right, okay, okay. Um, so, oh, thir excuse me, 31, what's the age range you would date? um 36 preferably 36 to 40. 36 to 40. okay mm -hmm. um all right boo i want to say this before i forget um because you came on and you said you love too hard all women i want you to get a book called women who love too much by robin norwood um women, women who, who love, love too much. much women who love too much women who love too much um, mm -hmm. It's called. It's by Robin Norwood. She's a, a psychiatrist. Um, hold on, I wanna. Hold on, hold on, what, what the hell? I wanna. Um, um, Kendra got a big ego. Such a ego. Oh, it was a compliment. I thought I was about to cut somebody out. No, women who love too much. <laughs> it's by Robin Norwood. It's a book I got put onto many many years ago. A, a guy actually gave it to me to read, mm -hmm. and I think it will really help you. Because what okay. happened? I'm, I'm gonna, definitely get there. I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna move forward. But the reason I was saying this is, it's like when you were trying to let go of a man, we don't look at it like a drug. Like, like imagine you're on cocaine. Man, let's just for a second. If you were a, a crack addict, and you said, "Oh, I can't go to the bar because crack is there, and I might, I, I, I might do crack." People will understand it, right? They'll be like, mm -hmm. "Oh, you can't go anywhere where there's crack at because you're trying to get over your addiction." Well, mm -hmm. in the book, Women Who Love Too Much, you will learn that sometimes this love that you're calling love is just it's like a an drug. addiction. It's an addiction. It really is an addiction. And if you don't mm -hmm. take the serious measures as a person who is on crack does to get over an addiction, you will find your life never getting out of it. We don't look at it as the same, but it really is the same. So all women, get a book called Women Who Love Too Much by Robin Norwood. Um, I think it's a book that will help a lot of ladies that watch my show. All right, listen, I, I enjoyed you. I, I enjoyed you, and I am wishing you the best. I want you to turn up. This is my advice to you. You're, I want you to not be sad. I want you to get dialed up. you have any girlfriends in Charlotte? I do. I do. I want you to go out, enjoy yourself, have a good time. You look good. Maybe this man relocated you so you could really find your husband for real. I'll look at it that way. I will absolutely yeah. look at it that way. And listen, rather, and, and also look at this, rather wait six months than the rest of your life. This could absolutely. be a life sentence or a six month sentence, but only you can decide that. Yes, ma'am. All right, well, one more time. How could a guy reach out to you? Um, they can reach out to me on Instagram. It's really spelled regular R E A L L Y dot beautiful underscore. So really dot beautiful underscore. 
Beautiful underscore. All right, baby girl. I wish you the best. Thank you, Kendra. I appreciate you. No problem. Bye, boy. Mm -hmm. Turn up. Turn I up. Will. <laughs> I want you to turn up and silence. Listen, okay, no. Bye, bye baby. Um, I don't, uh, sometimes I'll be feeling the spirit, but I really want to get that message out. And I really do think that sometimes women just don't even understand like how you can end up in this cycle and you never get out of it. And, it, and y'all talk a lot about narcissists on my show. If you are truly dealing with a narcissist, the only thing you're supposed to do is end all contact. You'll never win a conversation <laughs> and it only gets worse. So if you know I'm dealing with a narcissist, God forbid, I hope you don't got a child. If you got a child, then I can't give you no advice because then you can't end all contact. But if you are dating what you consider to be a narcissist, end it. don't even say goodbye. Just go on with your life. You block them, you move forward, you never see them again. Because if a narcissist is a real situation and you never, you never win that. You never tried to win it either. All right, let's get somebody else child.